prehistoric North America was rife with ferocious predators. It might surprise some people to know that many of the most incredible beasts lived not that long ago. They were formidable hunters that thrived during the Pleistocene epoch, the age of megafauna in North America. It was a time when mammoths, giant ground sloths, giant beavers, and huge stag moose roamed the land. To survive this challenging landscape, a hunter needed the size, power, and ferocity to overcome such massive prey. So how do we know about these creatures? One of the greatest resources is the La Brea Tar Pits, located in Los Angeles, California. While modern-day Los Angeles may seem like an unlikely place to collect information about prehistoric predators, the Tar Pits have provided a massive wealth of knowledge regarding Ice Age animals, a natural trap. Many creatures met therein by getting stuck in the asphalt of the tar pits. When a carnivore came to feed on the trapped animals, they also became stuck. After tens of thousands of years, the La Brea tar pits have accumulated many specimens, dating back to the Pleistocene epoch. Thanks to sites like La Brea, we have a window to the past and can learn a great deal about many of the animals that lived in prehistoric times. Unfortunately, the reason these animals are no longer around today is a little less clear. The Pleistocene ended about 11,700 years ago, with the close of the most recent Ice Age. As the glaciers retreated, the giant mammals began to die off. While some of their relatives can still be found in North and South America and other locations around the globe, none of these amazing prehistoric predators survive in the modern day. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the most ferocious predators of the North American Ice Age. Before we begin, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. With that being said, let's begin! Smilodon Fatalis Smilodon Fatalis is possibly the best known of the Machairodontine saber-toothed cats. It appeared in North America about 1.6 million years ago and later migrated down the west coast of the continent to Peru. It was a fierce predator about 1.5 to 2.2 meters long, or 4.9 to 7.2 feet, and 1.1 meters or 3.6 feet tall. It weighed 160 to 300 kilograms, or 350 to 660 pounds. It was a bit smaller than a modern-day lion, but much heavier. It had relatively short legs, and a short, bobbed tail, a bit like that of a modern-day bobcat, which is why it is called that, because of its bob-like tail. Its front legs were especially powerful, and its body was adapted for springing onto prey. But it was not a very fast runner, and could not be adapted for chasing after fast-running prey like deer. Its 30-centimeter skull had two huge saber-like canine teeth, and these were serrated, oval in cross-section, and up to 15 centimeters long. Smilodon was an effective hunter, taking down ancient bison, deer, and camels, among other moderate-sized herbivores. Despite artists' renditions of saber-toothed cats jumping on the backs of giant mammoths, this was probably unrealistic, just as modern African lions wouldn't tackle a healthy, adult elephant. It is more likely Smilodon would have preferred to prey on juvenile mammoths, but questions remain about exactly how Smilodon went about making kills. While those canine teeth appear ferocious, they were undoubtedly susceptible to breakage. Experts theorize Smilodon would have been an ambush predator, leaping on unsuspecting prey, restraining it with powerful claws and forelimbs, then using its huge teeth to inflict the fatal bite or slash. American Lion this big cat, a probable ancestor of our present-day lion, once roamed the continent of North America. This predator was huge, more than four-thirds the size of any modern lion. Standing four feet high, this predator had a huge head and long legs. Surprisingly, this big cat weighed less than expected for something its size, between 256 kilograms to 351 kilograms. This predator lived in high altitudes, probably using caves as a shelter against the cold weather. American lions likely preyed on deer, horses, 
North American camels, North American tapirs, bison, mammoths, and other large herbivorous animals. Human predation may have contributed to its extinction, indicated by the huge number of lion bones found in American Indian settlements of the Paleolithic age. This prehistoric lion was truly the king of beasts in its age. Short-Faced Bear When it comes to sheer size, the short-faced bear is among the most terrifying beasts ever to walk the North American continent. During its time, it had no rivals and would have dominated other apex predators of the Pleistocene. On all fours, it would have stood eye to eye with the six-foot man, while on its hind legs, it may have towered 12 feet. The short-faced bear wasn't just bigger than modern-day brown bears. It was faster, with proportionately long legs. This bear was a runner, and all but the fastest of its prey wouldn't have stood a chance. While the short-faced bear was built to hunt, it was probably an omnivore, and an opportunist like modern brown bears. It would have browsed for berries, insects, and plant matter, and stolen kills from smaller predators. Of course, it was also a killer, well capable of taking down giant ground sloths, juvenile mammoths, and prehistoric bison. Homotherium Homotherium was one of the most successful felines in prehistoric times, found in North and South America, as well as Europe, Asia, and Africa. This cat could adapt to a variety of habitats. This pack-hunting cat adjusted to fast running and active hunting mostly during days. That is how he avoided competition with nocturnal predators. His long forelegs and shorter hind legs gave him a hyena-like appearance. Although Homotherium is not very famous for its size, some fossil remains of the scimitar cat unearthed recently in the North Sea suggest that they could reach 400 kilograms or 882 pounds in weight. Being larger than modern-day Siberian tigers, they could hunt mammoths, but also chased fleet-footed animals thanks to their ability to run at high speed. Dire Wolf The dire wolf has become well-known in modern culture thanks to certain epic fantasy novels and their corresponding TV series. However, this Pleistocene carnivore was no fantasy. The dire wolf did once thrive in North America. It was a ferocious hunter and the largest wolf ever to appear on our planet. Though no taller than a modern gray wolf, the dire wolf was significantly heavier with a more robust build. This is evidenced by the thicker bone structure found in dire wolf fossils, and some experts estimate it may have outweighed modern gray wolves by 50 pounds. Despite its formidable size, evidence suggests the dire wolf was a pack hunter like most modern wolves. This may have meant it was capable of tackling larger prey than any other predator of its day. While the dire wolf shares many characteristics of the modern gray wolf, it has been theorized that they likely evolved completely independently from one another. The gray wolf's ancestry, including coyotes and doles, evolved in Eurasia, while the dire wolf likely has a purely new world origin. Xenosmilus Xenosmilus is a relative to Smilodon, but instead of having long, blade-like fangs, it had shorter and thicker teeth. All of its teeth had serrated edges to cut through flesh and were much more like the teeth of a shark or a carnivorous dinosaur than the teeth of modern-day cats. Xenosmilus didn't strangle its prey as cats do today. It only had to bite off a huge chunk of flesh from its victim and wait until it bled to death. Xenosmilus's kill was much bloodier and messier than that of any big cat you might see at the zoo. Xenosmilus was a very big cat by today's standards. At 180 to 230 kilograms or 397 to 507 pounds, it was as big as most adult male lions and tigers and was much more robust, with shorter, stronger limbs and a very powerful neck. The remains of this cat have been found in Florida, along with those of giant prehistoric peccaries, which were seemingly its favorite meal. It lived during the Pleistocene period, but no one knows exactly when it went extinct. Whether it encountered humans or not is anyone's guess. Machiridus Machiridus was a saber-toothed cat that lived during the late Miocene in Europe, Asia, Africa, and North America. 
According to skeletal and life reconstructions, Machiridis coloridensis was about 1.2 meters, or 3 feet and 11.25 inches at the shoulder, and about 200 centimeters, or 6 feet and 6.74 inches in length. If accurate, this would make Machiridis one of the largest felids. It was about a lion-sized cat, but was more robust and had more muscle mass. Machiridis was probably hunting as an ambush predator. Its legs were too short to sustain a long chase, so it most likely was a good jumper and used its canines to cut open the throat of its prey. Its skull was noticeably narrow compared with the skulls of modern pantherine big cats. The canines were long, thin, and flattened from side to side, but broad from front to back like the blade of a knife. American Cheetah the American cheetah is an extinct genus of two feline species that were endemic to North America during the Pleistocene period, Moranonyx inexpectatus and Moranonyx intrumini. The American cheetah had long legs, as well as a lithe body, blunt snout, and foreshortened face with enlarged nasal cavities. American cheetahs were estimated to have weighed about 150 to 200 pounds, or 68 to 90 kilograms and measured about 5 to 6 feet, or 1.5 to 1.8 meters in body length. Interestingly, the American cheetah was more closely related to modern pumas and cougars than it was to cheetahs. The lithe, long-legged American cheetah hunted by pursuing speedy mammalian megafauna, including deer and prehistoric horses across the rolling North American plains. However, there is no way to know if this ancient mammal could have achieved modern cheetah-like bursts of speed in the 50 mile per hour range or if its speed limit was set by evolution to a much lower level. American Hyena Although hyenas were once widespread across the globe, only one genus is known to have lived in the Americas. It was called Chasmoporthetes, or American Hyena. It is also known as the running or hunting hyena. These hyenas lived during the Pliocene-Pleistocene epochs from about 4.9 million to 780,000 years ago. But this genus of hyena was not unique to North America, and its fossils have been found in Africa, Asia, Europe, and Central America. It is believed that this hyena evolved from elsewhere and dispersed into North America. Chasmoporthetes was one of the so-called dog-like hyenas, of which the Ard Wolf is the only survivor. A hyenid group which, in contrast to the now more common bone-crushing hyenas, evolved into slender-limbed, cursorial hunters like modern canids. The limb bones of Chasmoporthetes were long and slender like those of cheetahs, and its cheek teeth were slender and sharp-edged like those of a cat. Chasmoporthetes likely inhabited open ground and was a daytime hunter. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.